I just want to start off by saying, hot damn, I love you guys. <laughs> yeah. That was Elon Musk at yesterday's Tesla shareholder meeting after investors voted to restore his pay package and move the company's incorporation to Texas. Joining us right now is Jay Clayton. He's the former SEC chairman and CNBC contributor. And Jay, a lot of people may think, okay, question resolved. The issue was that they didn't think shareholders knew enough about this. They have reaffirmed with this vote, but maybe not so quickly. This has to go back to the Delaware court. Now what? Well, the, the court case is still ongoing. The judge found that there were procedural deficiencies in the first vote. Um, what this was was a separate exercise by the company to say, okay, whatever those were, we're remedying them, we're doing the vote again. We have the results. The shareholder said, you know, he deserves the pay package. Um, and now it goes back to the court. The question is, how, I'll say this, how moot does that shareholder ratification make the existing case? Yeah, I mean, if, if the judge's point is that this was excessive and the shareholders didn't really know what they were voting for, how can you make that same claim when they just voted for it again? Anybody who doesn't know what it's about really hasn't picked their head up. And, and you, make, you make that great point. And then the second great point is, even if you say that there was some procedural deficiency the first time, what's the right remedy? Right. So part of, part of any court case is what's the, what's the appropriate remedy here? One of the remedies that she could have ordered or that Delaware courts could have ordered was be, do it again. Mm -hmm. Well, they've already done it again. Right. So, you know, and, and what's interesting is in Delaware, there's a, there's a principle that the stock price does tell you something. When it was, when it when it was originally nullified, yeah. the stock went down. Okay, so now, it, now it's approved. The stock goes, now, look, it's one data point, but it's an interesting data okay, point. Okay, so I have a complicated one for you. Yeah. The lawyer in the case mm -hmm. that brought the case was seeking something on the order of four, five, four five close billion, to five billion dollars, right. right? He won the case. Mm -hmm. Typically, you would pay the lawyer something for winning the case. You pay the right. lawyer, but, you pay, but, the, pay the lawyer for delivering for delivering value. value. Right? No, no. I'm saying so. Typically, there would be some, but there would be some. You typically get something for winning. So in this case, it appears he won the case, but in some, it, but the vote has now shown that the shareholders think that he actually created no value. In fact, I could argue that he created negative value, mm -hmm. negative value to the company because they just spent millions of dollars to have to go through this circus to actually get to this point, and the shareholders voted again for it. So I'm going to make you the judge for the day. Mm -hmm. The lawyer comes in front of you and says, I won the case, judge. I won the case. You, you told me I won the case. I should be paid something for my services. I just did this for you. And you're going to say, well, you did this, but you, you, did you this actually, for who? You, well, right, you think, created no value. How much do you pay the lawyer? I think, I think the lawyer's best argument for being paid, and it, it's a legitimate argument, is as a result of my efforts, there was much more sunlight on this process. And, with okay. an and, what, vote, and what's the value that you want to ascribe to that? <laughs> you know, look, I think you can do it in all sorts of ways, but it has to be related to the value to the shareholders. He's not getting five billion. He's not. Yeah, I will, I'll take He's the. Not getting a billion I'll, dollars. I'll take. I'll, I'll take the under on five. But will billion. you take? Would you take the under on a billion? Would you take I'm, the under on five hundred million? I mean, it's. I, oh, I, I'm I could, thinking like five million yes, dollars. I, 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 that's what I mean. It seems ridiculous. Well, and but look, one of the measures at the bottom of let, let's with a successful verdict for a, a, a lawyer like this, one of the measures at the bottom of the range is you know times times a rate. So whatever, whatever amount of time they spent times a rate, that's probably where the bottom of the range will start. So, but it's not, it's not 500 million. Yeah, okay. It's it's a, that's, a, that's a lot of hours and a lot of lawyers. Uh, you made the point in the notes that, uh, look, there's a question about whether Musk's early tweet, I think it was two days ago when he tweeted that it looked like the vote was going his way. Is that problematic? And if so, why? Well, uh, look, I'm, I'm sure any time someone like this communicates um, to the marketplace, people are going to look at it and see whether there was something wrong with it. Um, but let's recognize that any time there's a, a proxy battle going on or a, a vote over a merger, people talk all the time. Well, it's always whispering. They yeah, ju it's just they, like they, other companies do it. They just don't do it directly. So, they hire somebody else to go whisper yeah. to everybody and say, here's the vote. On this that program, to me. in Disney, we, we, we were right. talking about where, talking about where it stands you know, all, exactly all, all the time. So, so They had proxy advisors who were counting this stuff that they, I'm sure, were paying to do it. And were calling but if you speak, but, but there is the fundamental thing. And, and look, 
Elon Musk knows this well from the case we brought um, when I was at the SEC. When, when you speak, you have to speak truthfully. Oh, so there, there's a, an issue there if there could have But they re, he released I, I, the, uh, every, charts at the time that showed every indication. how many had come through. There's no yeah. way it could, no, it could yeah. possibly Every happen. indication is that and was good And that he released it data. to everybody at the same time by saying it on Twitter. It's not like he was telling certain people that, no. not others. No, he, he, it it was, seems like that was fair disclosure for the whole thing. For the whole thing. Yeah. Um, okay, so... Do you think there are additional lawsuits that could be brought on this, or does this silence some of those situations? Well, it's, it, it's America. There's always, as I like to say, there's always opportunities. And, and if, if potential... This is why that lawyer shouldn't get paid very much money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. if, if there is a, if something to be gained in it, it only enhances the idea for others to come after it. I, right. I, Go ahead. I, I think but the, but the really interesting thing here is tech. Because Tesla is a tech company. You know, and, and, and Musk, is, Musk is a tech entrepreneur. And, and the question here is, are the, one of the things that the judge found that I think has is, is gone a little bit unnoticed is that these super CEOs, these super, have, have some additional obligation because they have so much control over, over these companies. Oh, and that, that, that is an issue that is going to be fought out and continue to be fought out um, in the courts. You mean they should be held to a higher standard? That, that, that's... If you read the opinion, in what I would say is in layperson's terms, I miss that. That's that's kind of what's in there. That because he has so much influence over the board, so much influence over the company, he's such a force that he somehow has an additional obligation. Is that is that the truth of any founder entrepreneur? Not, this is this is this is kind of a new question. That's weird. It like, is. What, it, what, what, why it, be? I mean, what is the higher standard you're expected I, to be? That's why it's that's why it's too. You can't really hold on to it. And then the other side of this is, well, if he is that valuable. Well, then maybe he's worth all this money. Right.